I firmly remember the first time that I met her because I met her at Mom's when he'd brought her home for dinner with us. She was very pretty, very pretty, and very wholesome. The kind you'd want for a friend. She was just a nice, normal little girl, as far as I was concerned, trying to be somebody. All I know is that he was absolutely smitten with her. I think she cared a great deal about Bill at the time, and, and he apparently did her too. There was nothing fake about the girl I knew. Nothing fake. And I could see why Bill liked her, because they were both real down-to-earth people. Bill loved her, and it wasn't a possessive love. It evolved into he loved her as a person, and he wanted her to have the best in life that she could have. She had that with, with Bill. The facts of life were mixed in with love. We just sort of gelled together. We had tremendous a lot of fun together. No arguments. We just sort of floated along. And I had a feeling you know, all the whole time that, that this couldn't last like this. But it did. It lasted a long time. And when you're riding it, you ride it. They absolutely adored each other and finding the depth within each other. And I think both of them just found a need in the other person that was something they needed. I felt sorry for Marilyn. I think she needed more people like Bill, probably. They just enjoyed being together, and you could tell it when they were together. The little winks and the little squeeze of the hands and the, the look of, of different things. And Marilyn found hope with Bill. She would have been secure. There was a part of her that was always wanting to somebody to say she was pretty, always somebody to say that, yeah, she, she was special. And I don't think she got that as a child. I think that was a real need in her. And I don't think one man ever could fulfill that, that part of her. I never dated a girl uh, that I had more fun with. I never made a pass at her, ever. Uh, I didn't have to. She, uh, she'd let you know. Bill, believe, he had moral values. He believed when you were with a lady, you treated her like a lady. And to him, Marilyn Monroe was a lady. I think it's only later years did anybody give a damn about the real Marilyn, the real Norma Jean. And even when looking at the Norma Jean movies, I thought, gee, I'm not sure you captured the real girl she was. She was a tremendous gal. Nothing like they made her in the movies. Completely different. Hardly any makeup. I didn't like her with a lot of makeup. She didn't need it. There had to be a softer side to her. You see it. That softer person was in there and they tried to make a big thing then about the boobs and the legs. and But there was a real person in there. She wanted children more than anything. She really did. She wanted to be a mother. She wanted to have a little baby to hold in her arms. And she wanted, I think, something that was all hers. And she wanted to give a child a life that she herself never had. Marilyn Monroe, to me, is a sad story. Norma Jean was a wonderful person. I think there's a part of Bill that never fell out of love with Marilyn Monroe. When Destiny took her away from Bill's arms. Uh, that was her great height went on to be big and beautiful and sensational, but she lost the people. Had I married her, I don't know if it would have lasted. Maybe. But I could not have been luckier. Well, like I told one girl, why break up a good romance? And I guess that's a good answer because that's about really what, he, what it was. Uh, she really didn't need to be married, not yet. And neither did I. I wasn't ready and neither was she. But it just wasn't right to make it a permanent thing then. They, their lives were not set enough at that point. And they both were wise enough to know that. It's too bad that they didn't marry. Too bad. And I looked up and there she was. I said, I said you know, honey, I says, I think I might be falling in love. It's a beautiful story. And I think, in a way, it's one of the great romances. So these are just memories 
And all young fellows have memories and girlfriends. Uh, but I'll never forget this girl.